Okay, so um, if you have ventured into the degoogled world and uh, missing your voice to text or um, speak to text, uh, which many do, uh, I found that very beneficial. And um, well, let's look at one option here, and it is using um, the Gboard. And uh, so we're going to run through the entire process of finding it and, uh, and installing it, um, and then getting the function correctly with a degoogled phone. Uh, is there some risk in uh, you know, loading the Gboard? Well, we'll talk about that further into it. Yes, there is. Um, maybe there's some trade-offs. Maybe there's not. Um, we have arguments both ways, um, but we'll discuss it as we go on here. So let's first, uh, you can find it in Aurora Store. Okay, If you don't have Aurora Store for whatever reason, you can get that through F-Droid. And sometimes this happens, so uh, just get back out of that. And we will reload. Or have an internet issue, who knows. Roar store can be fidgety sometimes, just reload it. And let's go ahead and search for Gboard here. All right. Okay, so before you install this, um, you do need to uh, open up your apps. Okay, and if you go to your apps here, which is what comes with Graphene, uh, standard Graphene OS, all right. If you haven't been in there for it, check it out. Uh, here's what uh, comes by defa uh, with default when Graphene OS is installed, the operating system is installed, and you will see Google Play services here. So you will first want to install this. This is the sandboxed um, Google Play services that you've heard about or maybe read about. Uh, if you haven't, just read the little description here, and you can get more information on uh, GrapheneOS.org. Uh, uh, so go ahead and just install. Um, usually you can just hit, hit it up here and it'll install all of these, the GMS compatibility, the Google Services Framework, uh, or GSF, as you'll see, uh, many apps require that to function correctly. Um, and the Google Play Store will install also. You won't be getting thing, anything off of this, uh, but it's always an option there if you want it. Um, you can actually uninstall that afterwards if you have a problem with that being on your phone. But. Again, it runs in a sandbox environment, so it's uh, not an issue. It plays in its own sandbox and does not send information to, out to Google's um, servers or the cloud. So, Okay, let's uh, get back to where we were here. Um, the Gboard on Aurora Store. Let's go ahead and install that. My internet's kind of slow here, so I'll uh, get back with you after this installs. Allow what network permission? Yes, we will allow network permission for now, but we'll come back to that to deny that permission. Okay, successfully installed. And we're gonna go ahead and open that. Enable and settings, sure. And we'll come back to that, enable that first, okay. Yes, we know you can collect all the text you type for sure, Google. Anyway, enable that and click on or select Gboard. All right, and first go to voice. Okay, hold on here. All right, let's go back to that then. All right, we selected Gboard, so let's go back. All right, we are back in Gboard settings. Uh, go to voice typing and click on faster voice typing. Um, this downloads, um, let's just say this, the faster voice typing when it's enabled, it. It downloads um, the information needed um, to function correctly without having the network permissions enabled. 
okay? And we're gonna give that about 60 seconds um, just to make sure things download and we don't have to do this again. You can go ahead and go to, mm -hmm, I thought there was an advanced setting here. I don't see it currently. No, this is what I wanted actually. Under privacy, share usage statistics. Um, no, we don't need to do that. Um, it really shouldn't be or won't be because we're going to deny network permissions, but um, there's no reason to have that clicked on at all. It'll still function um, correctly. Um, you can actually come back and turn these off later if, if you want as well, um, as far as personalizing, improving typing and voice typing based on your Google Gboard usage and patterns and corrections. So it's up to you. All right, so far let's go see and if this works, uh, let's see here, let's check out Telegram and allow Gboard to record audio. So let's first, we did not deny network permissions yet. Okay, well let's just make sure things work correctly. So while using the app, yes, that's fine. All right, testing, testing. Not see anything yet. Okay, testing, testing. No, it's not working yet. Okay, so let's go see what's missing here. All right, just rebooted, and um, we are back up and rolling here with the Gboard and trying to get the voice to text working. So let's see what we have. Testing, testing, there we go. So you just need to reboot and reset everything and to enable um, Gboard settings and let the, uh, have some time to download the faster typing. Look, it works great. Bah ha ha ha. <laughs> okay, good deal. All right, so let's go back in, get out of here. And now we'll go back to Gboard again and to that's where we did the privacy we turned the usage settings off okay correct so the only other thing is long press and hold on the app icon here again you can do this for any one of them go to app info select that and for permissions we are going to deny the network so it cannot send data out Okay, and also uh, I don't see any reason why Gboard needs access to my sensors. Well, not necessarily, but um, <clears throat> so we'll just confirm that it does still work fine. So still functioning? Yes, correct. Test, test, one, two, three. Good deal, there we go. And there you have it, uh, voice to text back on the D Google phone. Now again, uh, there's an argument between having that on here and possibly uh, you know, communicating with other Google related apps or proprietary closed sourced apps that we don't know exactly the code that's in them, obviously. Um, some think it's perfectly fine, you know, with the uh, not sharing data uh, out to Google uh, because we denied network permissions. Um, so a good, uh, I would say, um, <clears throat> at least what I do, um, as you can see on my, my screen here, I don't have any closed source apps. Uh, I have another user profile uh, set up where I have all any of my closed source banking apps, Anything I log into, essentially, well, besides for you know my Proton Mail and Tutnota uh, emails, <clears throat> are on a different profile. So if Gboard is communicating with something, I don't think it's going to be any of these apps here. So um, that's my personal preference. We're all self-governing, so um, do your own research. Um, you just brave it. Don't Google it, of course. Uh, 
unless unless you want to get back in the Googling world. But hey, I hope this was helpful, and um, it is great to have some uh, voice to text uh, capabilities back on here. You know, for just driving or traveling, I should say. Um, and uh, well, obviously, if you grew if you if you've had voice to text for a while, uh, speech to text, then it's uh, kind of hard to get away from um, when you de Google. So. Keep de-googling, de decentralize the sovereignty, and um, yeah, we'll keep uh, uh, moving forward this privacy revolution and um, keep the things that are are ours and uh, not let anyone else have those.